Ready, set, go! Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Delcy and I'm founder of A Life of Heritage. So welcome to my channel. If you love your goats, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel because there is more great content coming. And if you haven't watched all the other great content, seriously, you need to check out my Raising Goats playlist. You will be like so many others. I get so many emails that say, Thank you so much for this information. I'm new to goats and your channel, your information, your goat binder has helped me out immensely. You know, I realized this last week after my last video came out, I was talking about how to treat lice in goats. My goats came down with a, a case of lice and I just explained that they, I mean, up here in the north, we have long winters and <laughs> oh you guys <laughs> can you see me <laughs> you guys okay guys you're not helping <laughs> Oh dear. So up north, you know, it's not it's not a typical place for goats. You don't find in our area, you don't find goats. Um just wild goats. It's this is not their natural environment. And so that makes it harder on goats, to be honest. You know, we are raising goats in climates and in areas that they weren't intended for originally. And that really does affect, affect them. And so we need to be raising, and, and sometimes it takes several generations of goats to get used to an area. So we want to be raising animals that are hardy to our areas and, and, and keeping goats that, that display a bit more hardiness. And so I, I, that's just an, an important, yeah, I guess a side note to what I'm talking about, uh, because when animals are in confinement, they, they do and can display problems that they wouldn't normally in, in their natural environment. And so my goats, you know, have been cooped up a lot in this barn this winter. You know, it's, it's a big barn, but still, it's not their natural way of roaming, uh, you know, going here and there and back and forth and, and getting out and moving and walking and, and you know, po possibly sleeping in different places each night. And, and so that affects them. And so in the last video, which you can, you can definitely check out, please do that because it's a natural way to treat lights. And I really believe it's important to treat lice as naturally as possible. Um, and to treat anything as naturally as possible until you can't. And sometimes it does come to a point where you have to go one step further. And I and that's something that I think, I have a goat chewing on my goat. <laughs> I just think that that is really important to, to, to know. Yes, we wanna do things as naturally as possible, but when things get bad, you do need to go one step further. And that goes with, that goes with worms as well. So, you know, you want to keep your goats healthy. You want to be giving them their copper if they're needing it. You want to keep them robust in their health so that they are able to keep the worms in their bodies in check. But when they do get wormy, you need to act and you potentially will probably... I don't want my goat ruining my zipper. Don't oh, show. <laughs> so we're going to face you this way, chewing your mama. <laughs> so when your worm, your goats get worms, and and they are wormy, they are displaying signs of anemia. They are, you know, they are when they are sick with worms. You have to go the route that will get rid of the worms the fastest. 
and that same thing goes with lice now I have a goat this um, right here is giraffe she is one of my well she's a couple years old but she beside this is opal so opal here <laughs> was born last year and um, giraffe was born several years ago so she out of the all of them giraffe is the second youngest and she for some reason um, out of all the goats really struggled with the lice the most and didn't respond to what I gave her and then and she it's amazing with goats goats are really strong until they're not and that's something you really have to watch for you're, you're gonna be thinking oh my goats are strong and healthy and then suddenly it, it feels like suddenly oh that's bad how did that happen and I think that a lot of goat owners, um, that happens to a lot of goat owners. And so that's just something to be aware of. So you think, whoa, <laughs> suddenly, like with giraffe, she suddenly I was like, whoa, what happened? She got under her chin. She got these kind of just little bumps on her skin that were from and around her eyes and on her udder that were um, from the, the lice, just biting and irritating and then her scratching. And, and she just did not respond to what I'd been doing. And that's what I wanted, why I felt like I needed to make a new video was because doing it the natural way sometimes doesn't cut it. And we need to talk about what will cut it. So I wanted to talk about a couple things. So this is one thing that I just picked up at my local tractor supply. Tractor supply is all over, so you would be able to find it. This is called Flea Halt and it is actually for dogs but it has the active ingredient ingredient pyrethrins and so this is something that that you could use on your goats it you spray it all over your goat and then kind of work it into the skin so it gets more towards the base of the skin and um and so you just want to make sure with yourself i mean it, it is a chemical you want to wear gloves you know don't get it all over your your clothes and then wear them all day um, and are all over your skin so just be aware of that um, and so this is one option that you can use another one that is very effective is silence it is a pour on insecticide and again I got this at tractor supply and this um, is hey. another one that many people have very good success with and so it is something that is a pawn. Now with other um, wormers, with goats, you want to give the worms, you know, internally. You want, you don't want to, I guess depending on what you're working through, um, in general, when you're dealing with worms in goats, you will give them orally because the porons just don't have the effect that, um, that the, getting them internally will. But with this, because we're dealing with an external parasite, you will you'll pour this on on the the back line of the goat so you will do one cc uh, per 25 pounds and then and then just pour it on the back of the goat and the good thing about lice is that they are easy to kill so uh, that I that is just when when you're if you feel like you're dealing with uh, just some lice and you you just want to get rid of it this would be an option or if you feel like your natural ways of, of dealing with it just aren't working then I would turn to this and try this when your goats start to get affected by parasites I mentioned in this in the last video it has far-reaching effects because uh, now the, the lice that I had were the biting lice not the sucking lice uh, sucking lice will have a greater impact on your goat because they are actually you know t uh, taking the blood of your goat which causes anemia but all of these external parasites and internal parasites can and will cause anemia which can be deadly you do not want your goats dealing with that especially going into well any time of the season but you know going into kidding season for that or being pregnant that takes such a toll on their body and and adding all of this onto that is not what you uh, want to be going through and, and letting your goats go through in your herd <laughs> I stick up. I stick up. I stick up.
I was hoping that spring was just around the corner. <laughs> we have all of the snow almost melted off. There's just a few patches of snow and ice. Um, and, and I thought, oh, maybe, maybe spring really is here. But of course it's not. In the next couple of days, we have four days of snow predicted between six and 10 inches. So it starts over again. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk you through how uh, I do this. So you just have a visual. Sometimes it helps to just to see what it is and how to do it and just to confirm with when you go out to do it. So I understand that. That's the way I learn as well, uh, is by seeing it. All right, so one cc per 25 pounds of your goat's body weight. So you need to know how much your goats weigh. Now, if you don't know how to weigh your goat, there is a video on my channel about how to weigh a goat that's really important. And, and it, it's one of the, you know, I feel like there's several things that are the most important things. Now, goat minerals, I believe, are one of the very most important things that you can have for your goats. You can find out more information about that on my channel as well. I have a video about that. Another part of that is just in goat ownership in general is knowing how to weigh a goat because for any of the medications you give, for anything that you're doing with your goat health-wise, you need to know how much they weigh because that's how it's all based on. And so know how to do that. Jump on after this video or after, you know, <laughs> just go through the whole list of all the videos because I could recommend them all here. But definitely watch how to weigh a goat. Okay, so I'm just going to... I don't have anything fancy for this either. So I'm just using a syringe and, and just, I'm going to go from the, just along the back of her and squirt it down her back. Hello. See what I mean? Poor thing and nothing I've done so far has helped her. So this is gonna be it. Hello. Now, once I treat her, I will want to do this again after Two weeks, I will want to do this again. Hi, Faith. Faith really thinks she's the star of the show. Are you the star of the show? You really think so, huh? I know, guys. Okay, so Faith. <laughs> All right, Faith, why don't you come over here? Ah, remember, you guys said you wanted to be helpful, so you stay there and look pretty. Okay, help me out here, okay? All right, poor girl. Poor guys. So just from the the top here. You should be able to see an almost, the, the lice will almost immediately begin dying pretty quickly after you give something like this, which is nice. So you should be able to see a pretty immediate effect on them. So if you love your goats, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and, and keep watching, keep learning. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I just hope that you have a great day with your goats. Give them a kiss, yes, and we'll see you in that next video. You're a stink stink, yes you are, you're a stinker, you're a stinker, yes you are.